Shalom, Akiyom. This is Yabataza here in San Angelo, Texas. Uh, I'm going to do a lesson real quick on the subject of the birth of Yahweh Shai. That he did uh, indeed was brought forth to the earth uh, the same way as all of us are here on the earth through a, a, a man and a woman laying together. All right. And therefore, uh, when a man and a woman lay together or have sex, they bring forth uh, a child. All right. Because today you got a lot of people, a lot of uh, these uh, Negro, Latinos, Native American Indians still under that, that spell, thinking that the Holy Spirit had sex with Mary. All right. That goes back to the Roman and Greek mythology. All right. And the Bible breaks itself down and lets you know the truth. But uh, I'm going to jump on it real quick. I'm not going to get too in depth with it. Just bring out the basics. Scriptures. Uh, the first one I want to get is uh, John 7 and 42. Had not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? All right. Because it was prophesied that Yahweh Shai was going to come forth from the seed of David. All right. And uh, another thing you have to understand is David is from the tribe of Judah. All right. But uh, before I get any more scriptures, that word seed, when you, when you look up that word seed in the Hebrew, it goes back to the word uh, uh, sperm or in, in the Greek sperm, sperma, if I'm not mistaken. And it's referring to the uh, the fruit of thy loins, which is your uh, children, your offspring. All right. I'm going to read it again. John 7 and 42. Had not the scripture said that Christ cometh out of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. Okay. Next scripture I want to get real quick before I prove that is in a... Uh, Give me one second. I want to get a second Samuel seven and and twelve. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. See it's the same uh uh word right there, seed. Uh, and it, like it says, which shall proceed out of, out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Uh, he, and this is uh, Nathan, the, the prophet Nathan, uh, prophesying unto King David. Uh, he, verse 13, he shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. Uh, but my mercy shall not depart away from him. As I took it from Saul. Whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom. Shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. According to all these words. And according to all this vision. So did Nathan speak unto David. Alright. Well the, everybody that knows that King David had uh, uh, his son uh, Solomon. Solomon, but it's also uh, ref going into uh, future prophecy because Yahweh Shai uh, was uh, chastised for this iniquity. Uh, what, what was it? The stripes. Uh, I said the stripes of by the stripes of men. is uh sorry just give me a second let me see okay right here uh Isaiah 53 and uh, uh for surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities and chest the chastisement, the chastisement 
of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All, all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Uh, so there you go right there, you know what I'm saying? It says that he was, uh, he was bruised for our iniquities, and the, 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 the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All right, so that was given future prophecy of Yahweh Shai coming through uh, the seed of David. Okay, the next one I want to get is uh, Acts uh, 2 and 29. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, all right, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. So there you go. You see those those same similar words, uh, the fruit of his his loins, or the seed the seed that shall proceed out of his bowels, uh, like it said in Second Samuel, uh, chapter seven. All right, it's referring to Yahweh Shai. Okay, that he was going to come through that same lineage, through that tribe. All right. Uh, next scripture I want to get is Hebrews. Uh, well, Hebrews, let me get Hebrews 7 and 14. Uh, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So there you go, man. I mean, it's it's plain and clear. You know what I'm saying? These, these scriptures are, you know, just straight, just straight to the uh, cut. You're there's you, you don't really have to get you can go deep it's always good to go deeper but these these scriptures are plain man plain as day and if you can't get it you're never going to get it you know only the elect are going to understand and and have faith that Yahweh Shai Mashiach uh is telling us the truth that you know he came through the uh the lineage of of Judah through the this uh the, the through David through King David you know, but the rest of y'all is going to go over y'all's head. All right. Uh, this is a uh, Hebrews uh, 2 and uh, 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, who y'all ignorantly call Jesus Christ, especially you Latin, you Latin tribes, man. OK, you Latin tribes are wicked as hell. All right, and y'all, y'all, y'all will fight and stand up for that white image, that white Jesus. All right, and the Bible it don't it don't give a uh, the 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 way the Bible depicts the Most High Son is isn't the way you see him today on your wall, in the movies. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. Acts two and fourteen. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on himself nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. There you go. Again, the word seed. He went, he, the, 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 the men, the chosen men of Abraham slept with women. And, and trickled down through their lineage, you know, through that st the sperm and bearing children. Okay. Another one is in Romans 1 and 3. Concerning his son, Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. And, you know, there you go again. It's plain, man. You know, there was no... Uh, some spiritual miracle type where the spirit had sex with Mary, man, that he miraculous, miraculously impregnated her. All right, that's going against the laws of, of the Most High because Mary was uh, already betrothed to be uh, with uh, with Joseph. 
And speaking about Joseph, Joseph came from that uh, that same lineage. That's why they have the genealogy of uh, Yahweh Shai in Matthew 1 and 1. And it says, one in, uh, Matthew 1 and 1, The book of the generation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. See, there you go again. It tells you right there, the son of David. Because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that reigns and, and redeems, uh, that reigns over uh, it, Yahshua Allah, and redeems uh, Yahshua Allah from the enemies. All right. The book of, of the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas or Judah and his brethren. Okay, then you read down to verse 6. It says, And Jesse begat David the, the king, and David the king begat Solomon, of her that had been, uh, of, of her had, of her that had been the wife of Urias. Alright, then it goes down, I'm going to jump down to verse uh, 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the son, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahweh Shai, who was called Christ. Verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David unto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. All right. So there there you go, man. So, you know, that's plain, plain as day. You know, that Yahweh Shai came, that was born through, Yahweh Shai was born uh, through his mother and his father, Joseph and Mary. They had sex together. All right. They uh, conceived a child, which was Yahweh Shai, that was prophesied. All right. There's no miraculous, like I said, there's no miraculous. It's not a fairy tale, man. It's not, this, this ain't no Greek mythology thing. This is a, a Hebrew Israelite thing. All right. And I got this one scripture in, he, in Wisdom of Solomon uh, 7 and 1. I myself also am a mortal man like, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. You know, and this is King Solomon speaking. All right. And, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, and in, and, in, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood. Of the seed of man, and the pleasure that came with sleep, and when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell, and fell upon the earth, which is like of like nature, and the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nurtured in swaddling cloths, and that with cares, for there is no king that hath any other beginning of birth, for all men have one entrance into life. And the light going out. Okay. And that's plain. Alright. It's self-explanatory. Alright. Uh, yeah, I was shy. It said, let, let every man be a liar, but the word of God true. So, you know, we're not into no fables. You know. Yeah, I was shy. is not the author of confusion. Alright. But uh, I just wanted to bring that out. And. Uh, but I hope it's edifying to you brothers out there. And. uh but I'm going to leave it with that. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, the apostles. Much respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth and enduring the, the uh, enduring your, your afflictions and your, uh, your, you know, hardships, being out in the highways and the byways in, in your everyday life. And, uh, uh, you stay strong, Akium. I'm going to leave it with that. Yahweh Shim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatam, Shalom.